Hi everyone, it's Winona the left-handed beater and I'm here today to make a bracelet for my mom's birthday and uh, I want to make a stretch bracelet because clasps um, she finds clasps hard to do up so I've got some um, elastic that I bought from an Etsy store and I bought a, a variety a variety pack and it came in a lot of colors and it was fairly cheap and it's really nice elastic normally I double it up but I'm thinking it's going through these holes and I don't think I can get two because I'd have to get four through here. So I think it'll just be a single single strand, but there's two, two holes in those cabochons, is that what they're called? And um, so it'll be a double strand. So I think that should be sturdy enough. And when I do stretch bracelets, I like to string it on my these big collapsible, collapsible needles that I got off of AliExpress. I like to put it on there, and then I just start stringing. But because these have such small holes, I think I'm gonna start with a pearl. And all these but beads are from Potomac Beads. Um, yeah, see, that's gonna be a struggle to get through. And I don't cut it off yet. I wait till I'm I'm done, and then I'll cut it off. But um, yeah, they they sent these, and the and the four millimeter ones I think, in one of their um, bead boxes a month or two ago. And I gotta find the hole in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to make sure. I think that I do these all the same way. Okay, um, anyway, they sent these in a bead box a month or two ago, and r right away, Ava unboxed it with me, and I thought of my mom, and I thought of making her a bracelet with it. So, I'm heading to Regina. Probably as soon as I get this done, I'll pack up and head up to the city for a few days. It'll be probably the last time I drive now because um, with my feet I can only drive when I can drive with cruise control on um, like I could drive a little tiny bit with my feet but I wouldn't be able to drive much and if I couldn't have cruise on someone would have to take me up to Regina and it sounds like the weather's gonna turn in a few days so it may be that someone might have to pick me up if the roads are bad. Okay, so this, I wanna go this way, so. See this one, the holes look a bit bigger in it, but still, I think just one will be fine. And anyway, if it breaks, I can fix it, and I have more beads to fix it, so. I have a 300 subby giveaway on my other channel, Dairy Barn Art. Um, I'm giving away, it's an, an Edith Holden book, which in the junk journaling world is just like the book to have. Everybody wants it. And um, when I, me and my compulsiveness, when I couldn't craft, I was shopping. And I was buying Edith Holden books on Amazon. I would go on and if I could find one that was a fair price, I would order it. And so I had bought 19 Edith Holden books and my friends all laughed at me. And I know I'll never use 19. So for 300 subbies, I'm giving it away, one away. And then when I get to 400 subbies, I'll give another one away. So when I get to 300, I'll start on this channel as well, giving something away. And I have something in mind, but I don't want to say it because I don't want to be committed to it yet. So you'll just have to wait and see once we reach 300. I'm just surprised how quickly this channel has grown. It just floors me every time. But I'm glad I'm having fun and I find this so therapeutic like I spend a lot of time by myself and even though I'm talking to myself right now 
I feel like I'm talking to someone. So, because I don't go out. Even with, before COVID, I don't go out much. I'm not the same I used to be. I don't look the same as I used to. It bothers me. And um, I'm just more comfortable at home. And I get so tired. Going out just tires me right out. Okay, and then we'll do one more cap. I think these are cabochons. Where's the other hole? Why can I only see one hole in this one? Oh, because this one's blocked. Just wait a second. Yikes, I should have checked them all. Because there's a hole here. Hmm, I think I've got some more cabochons. Maybe I'll just put this one to the side and grab another one. I think I might have had another one like that, though. Okay, there's one hole. There's two holes. This one has two holes. See how much easier it is with the needle, though, than trying to push that um, elastic through? And I, when I first started buying these needles, they came in multi-packs, and I find the big one is a little hard to manage, so I save it for this. Okay, so we've got that. And I don't think I'm going to tie it. I think I'll just clip it for now. And when I get the second strand, then I'll start tying. So now I just open this up and slide that out. Actually, yeah. I got quite a bit on that side. And I'll cut. And then I got my, what are those called? Bead stoppers. I got my bead stoppers there. So now I just need to do pearls in that and, and tie it and it'll be done. So, I think I'll go through this way. And I'll put the elastic in there. When I string, I tend to do that too. Uh, just a minute, please. Sorry about that. That was the other half come up to tell me there's supposed to be a snowstorm coming in the next few days. So we'll see what happens. I can't drive if I can't drive with my cruise on. So, and then in the city, my mom drives me around. So hopefully it's, I'll have to check the weather channel before I leave. Because I'd really like to get my new glasses. I'd really like to be able to see again. And I've got too long a tail on here. And it's hard for those beads to go through there. Whew. Let's make this tail a little bit shorter. So then we'll go through here. Oh, there's the hole. Can't see for trying. Oops. And then we'll do four of these. So how's everybody doing out there? Um, those COVID numbers are up again, which scares me. Got a lot of people in my family that refuse to get vaccinated. 
So, but it's a choice and we're all adults. So, we have to live with our choices. There we go, oops. I've been a bit down the last little while, I have to admit. And you may hear it a bit in my voice. Um, and my other channel, I was talking about um, my father-in-law is in early stages of dementia. And he is such an overbearing man. He's always been the boss. Nobody's ever questioned or, or, or said anything to him, like disagreed with him out loud or anything. And now that he's going through dementia, he's just... Oh my goodness, he explodes and he never he never he never got mad really. He was a he was quiet. But the kids, like everybody, nobody ever questioned him. And now he just explodes. And um he's picked on me for some reason. And now twice now he's done it. And I've got I said to my husband I can't go there anymore. I can't. I have too much I have to deal with in my life just day by day. I just can't do that. I, I just can't get knocked down like that. Even though I know, you know, doesn't know what he's doing. But nobody in the family is willing to to take him. Like, he won't see a doctor. And nobody in the family is willing to do anything. So... I just stay away, which is sad, but my father passed away years and years ago. He had lung cancer. Just hold on a second again. Okay, I certainly hope that's the last disturbance for this video, and I got a lot of editing to do. <laughs> For a short little video. But my husband wanted to know if he should put fuel in my car or my Jeep. And I said, well, if it needs it, yeah. And then he took my parcel from my Etsy sale to the post office for me. So that's good. I should have told him to go to the drugstore and get my prescription. But I guess I can do that when I leave. Awesome, I didn't run into one without a hole again. So then, I have two more of these out. Two more, and there we go. Now we just need to tie this. Oh, I have to get the thing off there. And I do waste a lot, but I find it really hard to tie a knot when you don't have enough cord or whatever. It's much easier when you have a lot. So, I'm going to tie a knot like that. And then I tie one the other way. Let's see, where was that knot starting from? that up. What did I do here? Okay, let's undo that knot. Let's find out what I did. Don't lose that bead. Okay, don't do it the way I say. <laughs> do it the way you do it. Don't do it the way I do it. Now I can't find anything. Everything's all tangled here. Okay, let's try this again. So I'm going to take this up and then I'm gonna I'm just gonna do another knot. If my fingers will work. Probably can't even see and for some reason that loosened on me. 
Let's pull everything tight. Okay, and then I'm gonna do what is called a surgeon's knot, but I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna take the long piece and put it over top this time. So I'm gonna do one, and then two. Pulls through, and then I'll pull that tight. And then I pull this way, and then I pull it tight again. Okay, and I will leave that for, uh, I will probably put a little bit of glue. Um, I don't know what it's called, I can't remember. A beater tube of glue stuff you get from Michaels. This might be too big for her now that I'm looking at it. I may have to redo this. Okay, and now I'll switch. And now I'll go this one over and, and then over and under. This looks way too big. Let's try it on my wrist. My mom's wrists are smaller than mine. I love this bracelet, but boy, I have a hard time getting it on and off. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I'll take it up and I'll see what she thinks. And I may have to I don't know what I may have to, I, I like the look of the four beads in the center and three beads I don't think is enough, but that might be too big on her. Well, we won't finish it off. I'll take everything up to Regina with me if I, and if I need to redo it, I'll redo it up there. But it's pretty, it's pretty. So anyway, and these are my mom's colors. This is like, this is as colorful as my mom likes. She likes very neutral, very, very neutral things. So anyway, I wish you lots of luck and happiness until we meet again. Um, take care out there, everyone. Bye-bye.